Okay, continuing with the log properties of expanding and condensing. Let's look now at the steps to condense logarithms. As we've talked about and mentioned already, ready for this. With this, we are writing the log as a single logarithm. Okay, so we're condensing it down. First, move those coefficients to exponents. Now, the new part was getting a little tougher. You're going to see multiple logs with multiple different bases. So what I would suggest is organize it to where you have the same bases together, but adding first. Then remember, if it's same base adding, it's multiply. Same base subtraction is division. And then you simplify. So now, let's practice. Okay, so looking at this example here, now, is this in your homework written this way? No. A lot of your homework will be just one single base. So what you can think about is this is two homework problems together as one. Okay. You have 3 ln of e plus 5 minus 2 log base 12 of 5xy to the 7th plus 6 ln of x minus 2 plus 5 log base 12 of 6 minus x minus 2 thirds ln of x to the 6th, y to the 7th, g to the 9th, plus 2 log base 12 of x plus y. So, remember, with our, with our steps here, we first move the coefficients to exponents. Now, one thing you'll see in some of the notes, and as you practice this, you will also see a lot of professors and a lot of students who have practiced it, they're going to combine these first two steps together, moving the coefficients and organizing. Okay, So with this one, so all of these coefficients go up top. Okay, And they go all the way up top outside of that parenthesis. Okay. So this becomes ln of e plus 5. What the hell? Okay, sorry, it's just... No, it's fine, it's just... ln of e plus 5 to the third. Now remember with this, we have to put that e plus 5 to the third inside of the parentheses because we're taking the natural log of that whole thing. Minus log base 12 of 5xy to the seventh squared, same thing. x minus 2 to the sixth plus log base 12, 6 minus x to the fifth, minus ln of x to the sixth, y to the seventh, g to the ninth, 2 to 2 thirds, plus log base 12 of x plus y squared. Okay. Now, we need to organize it with the same bases. Well, remember, ln is base e, okay? So we're going to group all of our base e's, and if you have to, highlight them, do some type of color coding so you know which ones, and we want the addings first. So the first term and the third term are going to go first, and then the uh, fifth term. So this will be ln of e plus 5 to the third plus ln of x minus 2 to the sixth minus ln of x to the sixth, y to the seventh, g to the ninth, to the two thirds. And now you do the same thing with the base twelves. So you're going to put the fourth and sixth term first, and then the second term. Does it matter the order? No. So we'll do plus log base twelve of six minus five 6 minus x, sorry, to the 5th, plus log base 12 of x plus y squared, minus log base 12 of 
5xy to the 7th squared. All right. Now, this is where properties 8, 9, 10, and 11 come in. So, same base with adding is multiply. So, this is going to become multiplication. And then our subtraction will be division. So, we're going to have ln big parenthesis, our division. Remember, the subtraction goes in the bottom. So, parenthesis x6, y7, g9 to the two thirds, and then times e plus 5 cubed, x minus 2 to the sixth. And then the same idea, plus log base 12, big parenthesis, and the same idea, 5xy to the 7th squared, 6x, 6 minus x to the 5th, times x plus y squared, okay? Now, will you always have this nice, symmetric, even amount of terms, etc.? No, okay? You may not have division for any of these. It may all be multiplication on the inside, okay? So that's steps three and four. Now we simplify, okay? Well, we look here. This says e plus 5 cubed. Well, remember, that means FOIL, okay? And as I said, your homework, Homework will want you to FOIL anything to the fourth power. I'm not going to make you do that. Okay? So that means FOIL. X minus 2 squared means FOIL. Okay? But for the test, you don't have to FOIL these. Your homework will have you FOIL for, for the Q part. For the 1 to the 6th, no, it won't. Now here, you see multiplication. So we distribute that two-thirds in and multiply okay so we're going to do x to the six times two-thirds y to the seventh times two-thirds g to the ninth times two-thirds and then the same idea over here foil foil and then here distribute that two so that's going to become five squared x squared y to the seven times two okay as I said, for the test, you will not have to FOIL these. I'm going to be nice with that. With simplifying, you won't have to FOIL. I'll be nice. Um, when we get into solving, yes, you'll have to FOIL. Okay? So, this will now become, so we just rewrite over e plus 5 to the third, x minus 2 to the sixth. All right, so 6 times 2 thirds, well, that's 12 thirds, so that's 4. So x to the 4th, y to the 14 thirds, g to the 6th, plus log base 12 of 6 minus x to the 5th, x plus y squared, over 25, x squared, y 14th. And now your last simplification, okay, this is where property one comes in. You have to ask yourself, like for this one, is there e to some power that equals this whole inside? And no, there is not, because you have variables. Yes, you have an e right here. There's an e. But it's attached to an addition, which is attached to raise all to a power, so we got to FOIL it first. And it's attached to a multiplication, so we can't do anything. Okay, so with this, we're done. Here, same idea. We are done. Okay, so looking at another one. Same thing, write it as a single log and simplify. So we got 4 log base 5 of 625 minus 7 log base 25 of 625 plus 3 log base 5 of 125. With this one, there are multiple ways. You could condense and then simplify, or you can simplify and then condense. Either way. Let's keep with the condensing. 
So first, these coefficients become exponents. Okay. So log base 5 of 625 to the 4th minus log base 25, 625 to the 7th plus log base 5 of 125 cubed. All right. Since there is no add, subtract, or multiply, we can just write it next to the number and go and leave it as that. Now, we see we have log base 5 and plus log base 5. Hey, same base adding. That means multiply. So this is log base 5 of 625 to the 4th times 125 cubed minus log base 25 of 625 to the seventh. Now we can't do anything with base 5 and base 25. They are two different bases. We cannot combine them together, so we leave them as is. Now at this step, you're probably wondering, Mr. Pangburn, why are you being so mean to us with this? We've got a three digit that we have to raise to the fourth and third and seventh power. You expect us to do this? No, I don't actually. With this one, you've got to go back to your properties and remember. Remember, this is saying 5 to some power equals the inside. So, let's list our powers of 5. So, 5 to the first is 5. 5 squared is 25. 5 cubed is 125. Hey, we got 125. Zoop. 5 to the fourth is 625. Hey, we got 625. So now this is the same as log base 5 of parentheses. 5 to the 4th is 625, all raised to the 4th, times parentheses 5, 125 was 5 cubed, all cubed. Now, let's do the same thing. 25 to the first is 25. 25 squared is 625. Well, looky there. Minus log base 25 of parentheses 25 squared to the seventh. All right. So this is now log base 5. Remember, a power to a power, we multiply in. Parentheses 5 to the 16th minus 5 to the 9th minus log base 25 of 25 to the 14th. Hey, same bases, we add the exponents. So we do 16 plus 9, which is 25. Log base 5 of 5 to the 25th. Minus log base 25 of 25 to the 14th. And hey, we are answering property 1 with, I believe it is, property 4 of log base A of A to a power. So here, log base 5 of 5 to the 25th, those 5s cancel, leave us 25. The 25s cancel, leave us 14, which equals 11. And you could have done this from the very beginning by simplifying. Because we could say, okay, 5 to the 4th is 625. So this would become 4 times 4. Here, 25 squared is 625. So this would be minus 7 times 2. And then over here, 5 cubed is 125. So plus 3 times 3. Well, 4 times 4 is 16, minus 14, plus 9 is equal to 11. And so what this shows is there are two ways to do this. My personal opinion of the easiest is right here. Doing this part right here is the easier approach. This is the easiest. Will you always have it like this? No, as we talked in some of the other examples, you may have the insides, like instead of having log base 5 of 125, 
You may have log base 5.